Come on. All right, here we go. Week two post game interview with the coach. Good guys. Uh, overwhelming victory again, 19 to three final tonight. Um, actually, good guys versus opponents this year, 35 to four. How about that math skills uh, right off the bat, coach? I'm I'm pretty impressed. I think our top to bottom, we did all right this time, and this time everybody did get a hit. So every single person, wow. Every single every single person. No, not me. Well, I mean, I got on base twice. I gotta tell you, I know how that feels. <laughs> So, question: This is not vis There's no visual on this, right? No. So, all my visual jokes are gonna flop. Do they always? Uh, well, I flop, but is flopping a visual yeah, joke in yeah, itself? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. See, I was gonna say that tonight, despite my predictions, I walked twice, but I was a little off in my other predictions. Ah, the, uh, you don't get that, do you, radio fans? Well, we'll hold that up later. Maybe we can get some visual on that one for you later. So, anyway, no, a good, good overwhelming victory. Stomp the shit out of him. See you, Jesse. Um, so, Coach, what does this tell you for uh, um, this team, first off, heading into this 2018 season, just knocking the cover off the ball? I think more important than anything else, confidence. We're feeling it. We're in the zone. And, like, since we're such head cases, that's going to make more difference than anything else. I love so, it. So, so confidence, but not competence. <laughs> Dude, beggars can't be choosers, right? Okay, I mean, take what we can get. <laughs> so, uh, so who would you consider your player of the game tonight? Wow, that's a really good question. I'd have to look at some stats because it was really solid all over the place. Um, I'm sure, I here. I'm going to pick one person who is not, and that's not Nick P. How about the guy who hit a grand slam tonight? His first for the good guys. Yeah. I heard it wasn't the first for the good guys. It was Hold on, I his to... first, his oh, first yeah. for the good guys. It's pretty much the huge. Well, we're, I tell you what, we're gonna we'll be back in just a moment to uh, to recap the rest of the game, part two. Post game interview here, uh, quick with Ray Ray. Uh, I think you had about like seven hits tonight. Does that sound accurate? Uh, you know, I wish I uh, I played better games in my career, uh, but uh, you know, still a little bit rusty, still a little rusty running the bases. I had the uh, face plant in the outfield, but overall, you know, a win's a win. Uh, no, <laughs> most people didn't even see it. <laughs> That's true. But, no, no, uh, it's not true. Everyone saw it. <laughs> Everyone saw it. Uh, people were making comments. But hey, you know, nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens to, to just about everybody at one point or another. Well, hopefully that's the only time this year. Ray Ray, are you going to the bar tonight? Not tonight. Oh, this this this, this post game podcast has been brought to you by Ray Ray. <laughs> Signing off with responsible Ray. Dilly dilly. <laughs> oh no. I'm an expert on coming back for part two of the Good Guys post game podcast week two. Good guys win 19 to three tonight. Uh, coach. What does this mean for the season outlook now for the team? Well, next week even comes even more critical because next week I'm assuming is going to be aquatics, and right there it is in a nutshell. But since we played aquatics before, this is pretty. This game was pretty huge. This is like the last of the unknowns. And, and here the Hellhounds, actually, from what we understand with the scouting report from Myra, the Hellhounds, uh, the team that was the opposition tonight, actually beat aquatics last week, 17 to 16 in a barn burner. So that really uh, makes a lot of sense that you put them in the same uh, the same stroke of talent as uh, the team we played tonight. Uh, barring a stroke of luck, I believe that pretty much we're looking at a similar co opponent next week. That's good news. So actually it's really good news when you're looking at the opportunities to hang another yet another piece of hardware on the wall for the good guys. Um, while, we're, uh, while we're on the subject tonight, just to wrap it up here, what do you think of the team name Hellhounds? I mean, dumb? Um, well, I think most names aren't dumb as long as you can back them up. But... Um, but they didn't. So you didn't feel at all at any point tonight uh, maybe Hel threatened? I was not hounded by hell. If I had been, maybe I'd be like, ooh, hellhounds. But I was like, eh. Okay, okay. Well, there you have it. So uh, good guys wrap it up after week two, 2-0. Two oh, stranglehold on their division. 19-3 to three victory tonight. Overwhelming. Go good guys. Yeah, go good guys. Amen.